hey. Um, so just wanted to make a quick video today. It's blog day, blog day 11. Um, I think it's, I think I've actually got that right for the first time in a couple of days. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of, of keeping yourself busy and looking after your mental health. I talked in a video earlier this week about um, the importance of having a schedule. A lot for a lot of us, our structures, our usual structures, our daily structures are broken down. So it's about trying to build something yourself um, to keep yourself occupied. And there's strong reasons, particularly for me, um, and that might apply to you for why I'm doing that. So for me, I'm keeping myself very busy, um, primarily because I'm I'm conscious of the fact that um, a few years ago now, several years ago now, I had a, a period of quite bad depression and um, excuse me, I've just got an insect flying about in front of my face, a little bit of depression and at the time, uh, I think it was really partly delayed grieving as well. And it was, yeah, I mean, I lost six months, maybe 12 months of my life to quite a dark place. It's a little bit fuzzy as to exactly where it started and, and when it ended. And there are a few things I remember strongly about that. First of all, I didn't know when I was getting into it. I didn't know, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't like I had an experience of saying, oh, I'm a little bit sadder than I usually am, um, or I'm feeling a bit less active or a bit less motivated than I usually do. It, it, it snuck up on me in the sense that I, I, I was suddenly in this quite dark place um, without really realizing it was happening. Um, yeah, secondly, I had, there was a weird experience of the more I, at that point, the more I was not doing stuff, the more it seemed pointless to do stuff. And I was giving myself my own uh, personalized uh, news feed of very negative uh, thoughts and very negative inputs, like you're useless, you're worthless, what's the point, like you've been a failure, like everything's, you've, everything you've done has, 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 has been a screw up, what's the point? Um, and yeah, I mean, it took a long, a long way and a little bit of uh, fortune in a way to walk my way out of that situation. And I was conscious as soon as I felt this, um, this, this virus crisis getting to a certain stage, I could feel that it was a possibility that um, with the likelihood of it lasting at least a couple of months, um, you know, positive es estimates are or like hopeful estimates are saying three to six months and I think that you know realistically with the with with the the probability of a, of a vaccine not being available um, um, certainly not distributed globally for up to a year we might have to be prepared to bed in for a while with this stuff and I was very conscious of avoiding again that negative vortex of of not doing stuff and and my motivation being sapped so I've, I've early on tried to take immediate action, interventional action, to stop that from happening by setting up myself up a schedule, making sure I'm staying busy uh, throughout the day, keeping myself challenged and active, both, both physically and mentally, um, which is really important, and trying to make sure that I don't fall back into that place. Um, now, when I talk about, like, people have had, will have had different experiences with mental health issues. Some, I've never had to take, for example, med medication or have a very long, even had a, even have to have a very long course of counselling or anything else like that. And people deal with those things in different ways. But what I do believe is that um, if you're not someone who's, who's, who's got that chemical imbalance in your brain that doesn't need to have regular medication, you can be susceptible to bouts of, of sadness and bouts of depression. And you can act in advance to try and keep those things away. Um, and like I said, one of those major things is to keep yourself occupied. So that's all I wanted to say today, um, to open up a bit about my previous experiences and just say that it, you know, it really is important. Keep yourself engaged, keep yourself active. We might be in for a bit of a long haul here. Um, and yes, there's a lot of people who are maybe taking opportunity to take a bit of a break or, or vacation. For most of the world, we've had at least a few weeks of this. so. If that was you, now's the time, I think, to, to, to try and get a handle on things and find a way to challenge yourself and, and push forward um, because I wouldn't want anyone else to have the kind of experience that I did um, those few years ago. So thanks for listening, if you did, and I will be back tomorrow.